Eyewitness News on 947. For more, click ewn.co.za. You may begin to feel anxious or excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind. This is a normal response. Are you ready for our sports worldwide? I'm pleased to announce two tax measures to encourage businesses and individuals to invest in renewable energy and increase electricity generation. Marawa Sports Worldwide. <laughs> From that separation, I was like, I'm going to the gym. Fuel inside my body in terms of, okay, okay, I take it. I'm no longer in his plans. I'm no longer useful to his tactics. Okay, after that conclusion, I said, okay, all right, cool. I'm going to the gym. We'll see. Changing and re-engineering sports on the continent and the world. For Matthias Galaxy striker, Smusi Sofilagaz is here in studio. Tim Sugazi was in our studio. The Villa situation, obviously, now that... You've parted ways with yes, right? yes. I believe that he had a clash with the coach. No. Why is he leaving? All. Not at all, shame. Robert Marawa, live on 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Hashtag MSW. The sporting code that you would want to discuss on the show 060 708 0484. Uh, that is exactly the communication number that you have. Uh, one thing about our football legends is that they never disappoint. One thing that they know about their retirement is that they cannot be late. They might have been late during their playing days, but they cannot afford to be late uh, when it comes to such interviews. We chuck them out, we don't mess around with them. And when you are in the midst of greatness, maybe I just need a second to take a deep breath. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Here in studio, the president of the South African Football Association, Dr. Danny Jordan. How does it feel to be in a position that looks like most people don't like you to be in? Danny Jordan, they should retire now. Go spend some time with your family. Spend some time with the kids and let the young blood come in. Vision 2020 this, Vision 2020 this. Let the young blood come in. He says, you guys have been in power for so long. Why don't you give younger people an opportunity to run? Tell me in football who's loved by everybody. That's football. There's those who support you and those who don't support you. And it's good that there are those who, who express their views Then some of them mm. have hardly ever met, but they have an opinion. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Always. This is how we do it. About our beloved legends. Pull up your chair. Let's chat legendary stuff. Marawa Sports Worldwide. Yeah, you want to be part of the legendary journey, don't you? I did say earlier that you might, deep down inside, be a supporter of Manchester United. But you know, back home, you either support Orlando Pirates or Kaiser Chiefs. You might support Arsenal. But deep down inside, you know, back home, you support either Orlando Pirates or Kaiser Chiefs. You might support Chipper United. Sundowns. Amazulu. But hey, deep down inside, 
in that maternity ward, you were born either a Chiefs or a Pirate. We cannot argue with that fact, man. I mean, the skies are clear and they are very beautiful. Beautiful enough for a beautiful game of football as the 177th Soweto Derby takes center stage tomorrow. 177th. Brian Baloy, how many of those 177 Soweto Derbies did you play in? Um, geez, what is it? Uh, 20 odd something? 20 odd. You know, when, you, when, 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 when you're a legend, you, 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 lose, you lose count, don't you? You kind of, um, I think myself, I'm one person that I never was uh, looking at the records and looking at um, the stats. The stats um, but I know uh, at Chiefs, we have someone who is very good with stats. Uh, Yusuf. Yusuf, Yusuf yeah. uh, he always gives me those stats and all of that. Yusuf, I know you're listening. So please, if, if you know what Brian's stats are, please tell me. Send me a WhatsApp. Yeah. Uh, I would love to know. I'm, I'm not buying the story of 23 <laughs> odd something. And I suppose, Tebo Komulo, you also don't know how many of those 177. Hey, Rob, you know, it's difficult to keep those stats. Yeah. I'll tell you why, Rob. Uh, when we were growing up, as youngsters, uh, Orlando was the mecca right. of football. You, When you were young, you'd be allowed. I was very fortunate. When my dad was in a good mood, then I will go. But if he's not, he goes alone. Hmm. But when he's there, he sits with the other players that he played with. You're being put with the other kids on the touchline. And that was the dream to say one day I will play in these games. And if you look at it, uh, the Davi that time was an antidepressant whereby... Uh, it relieved the pressure. It made everybody happy. We were not even, uh, you know, um, readmitted into the international football. So, the derbies that you played that time, mm -hmm. always you must remember there were like how many cup finals? I mean, cup competitions. That's in Mainstay, Sales House. You know, you 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 count those all those cup those. I mean, uh, 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 the uh, cup uh, competitions. Cup, cup competitions. Yeah. You expect that who to be in the final? Chiefs, Pirates. So can you imagine if you start counting with one, <laughs> two? I mean, I yeah. take for instance, 87 when I joined. Five derby games in 87. Just in one year. In one year. Oh, and, that's and, crazy. And just, and just to add on what he's saying, yeah. I mean, uh, back in the day, mm. as a kid, yeah. mm. just to be on the field just. was something big. So if you play football, mm. just if you had an opportunity to be uh, somewhere there yeah. somewhere yeah. no on the pitch yeah, yeah. so when you got an opportunity to be on the pitch at Orlando yeah, yeah. or Ellis Park later yeah then um, you know, it was something big um, before mm. even think dreaming about playing for these clubs mm. you know um, so yeah, um, sure. yeah. I mean the, I, I, think, I think the stories that we're hearing now I mean it's beautiful enough for the multitudes of Orlando Pirates and Kansas Chiefs fans to uh, descend into what I would call jam-packed to the rafters, Soccer City, tomorrow. I mean, they often say that it's a game like no other. And who better to explain these statements than these two legends? I mean, you've already heard from them. Struggling to tell us the numbers. They didn't care, and I don't blame them. All we knew, and, and, and Debo Kumlo is not going to tell us, when he talks about, yeah, my dad this, my dad that, his dad was a bigger legend than he would ever think he is a legend. Percy Chipper Molloy. I don't even think those things are Googleable right now. But ask ask your neighbor, ask your father, your grandfather, who Percy Chipper Molloy is in terms of football and was in terms of existence. I know. Your, your, your mind is just going to, you're going to lose it. Can I blow your mind, Robbie? Please do. Before I came to the studio. Yeah. Just this. I nearly actually shed a tear. What happened? I ran into Fetsi Chipa Mulati. Yes, Rowi. This is the man that actually made me uh, to accept Jersey number eight. Because a lot of people think my dad was Jersey number eight. He was Jersey yeah. number 10. And the Jersey number eight was being worn by dancing shoes, Bernard Hearts. So when I saw Fetsi today, 
And the first question that he asked me, you know, out of just to spite me and everything, he didn't say who's winners. He, said, he just said to me, are you going to watch the game tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yes, I am going to watch, but I'm not going to the stadium. And then he said, leave it at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Where, where is he? Because, I mean, we, we've been hunting this man down for many, many years. He was, again, for context, Aish. Aish. A, at a certain time when he made the move, he was the most expensive sure. football player in South Africa yeah. at the price of 45,000 rand. Uh, you know, you know, you know. When, when I yeah. saw him today, <laughs> he still looks good. Yeah. He hasn't yeah. changed. He hasn't still aged. He hasn't aged. Uh, you know, you know, you know, today, yeah. he, you know, it blew me away. <laughs> and, and on my way to the studio. That yes. is crazy. And, I think and, you and just brought him along, man. Yeah, and I had the pleasure of playing uh, with him. Yeah. yeah. You know, as a as a seventeen year old, and 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 at that time, I I I I, I had just been promoted, having been playing with his younger brother at the uh, for the reserves. Yes, you know. So, um, um, geez, yeah, I just what, what a player. Um, you can't just for you to explain um, yeah. the type of player he was. Um, incredible. I mean, that, 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 that's why that's why he deserved the record. That's yeah. why he was the most expensive yeah, football player in, in, in the you, time. You, you know, when you talk about the derby being the biggest game, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, from yesterday, I've, I have a whole lot of friends that support different clubs. Right. So these other friends of mine that support Sundown, they're busy. That how, how do you call this the biggest game? You know, and and I said to them. You will never understand yeah. until you play or support one of these two clubs hmm. because uh, uh in any country the derby is bigger than the winning the league um i mean there's coaches uh, i mean that you know coached uh, both barcelona and madrid yeah mm. they win the league but they've lost uh, the derby yeah. twice mm. sure and they fire you <laughs> no you go <laughs> yeah no you go yeah so 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 for, for, for someone who's a football fan to understand what the derby means yeah. to to a fan um you can win the league but if 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 you lost to pirates it doesn't have that 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 the same feeling and meaning. okay brian you you, you just put yourself in the fire <laughs> because i listen very carefully to what people say yeah. so according to your assessment and according to what you've just shared with us here as the shareholders of this show as the listeners of the show and because you're representing deep down inside Kaiser Chiefs. Yes. And I'm going according to what you've just said. So if Kaiser Chiefs lose to Orlando Pirates tomorrow, does Arthur want to get fired? Uh, no. <laughs> no? In, in normal circumstances, yeah. he would. Uh, but but uh, Mangeta's situation and where the club is right now is at a different uh, uh, situation. And... Um, uh, the, the club is in the building phase, right? And uh, he needs to be given that the the that time and uh, really to build the, the the team, and and to be given uh, proper uh, players as well. You know, building. Mm. Uh, we have a lot of good uh, youngsters, um, but for uh, we need a little bit of experience around them mm. to guide them. But do you uh, think the fans are buying that? You know. You That's know when you're building, you, you're almost building like you're building Bafana Bafana for so many years. You're building, but nothing happens. You know buildings, at some point, the Nelson Mandela yeah. Bridge was being built, but they finished it. It's, it's a beautiful spectacle there in Bramfontein. So yeah. Kaiser Chiefs knocking on 10 years without silverware. That is unheard of. Yes, but that's where we fail as football in South Africa. Yeah. Communication. And, and, and really respecting the fans. Mm. And, and, and going down to their level to a point where you engage them consistently for them to understand. Because sometimes you have this, this dream or this plan, but it's within you, within uh, your office, Naturena or at Orlando, yeah. or, but you don't share it with the people. Share it with us. Share mm -hmm. with the people so that the people yeah. understand what you're trying to achieve, so that they can support. But what do you understand they're trying to achieve? Because a normal fan right now is like, I know, mm -mm, this thing is not happening. They are disgruntled, they are unhappy. They can see, yeah, there's some great youngsters that are there representing the team. Yes, the future might be great, but right now, because they're living in the moment. They're not buying tickets to go look at something that's being built. They think... The previous life, when Steve Compella was there, when Solinas was there, 
uh, when Gavin Hunt was there, they believed that that was building. What about right now? I believe she's made the biggest mistake um, just after Baxter. Yeah. Just after winning that league. A lot of the um, senior players that club had, um, you know, I can count them, you know, from mm. the Morgan Golds to the Letsulinyanis to all the way until to the Shabas mm. that the club let go and that should have kept within the club so that these youngsters can be able to learn and 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 and, and, and you know to learn from them as a reference as point. a reference point yeah and, and and it's not only about the playing on the field and it's about even understanding the culture of the club it's about right. all of these things and i was lucky um to to have played if, if i told you i mean when i signed the chiefs in 91 the type of players that were uh, in the Chiefs uh, like remind and, us, and, remind and, us, and, remind and, us, and, remind and, us. And, and that's the year where Chiefs won like everything. Everything, yeah. You know, yeah. And I won my first uh, league medal at that time, even you know, having not played as well. And uh, I mean, we had your um, the Trevam Team Cool, uh, yes. Ace um, Kuse. Uh, you had your Katnasi uh, Alintiema Pike. You had yeah. uh, Wellington Team Cool. Yeah. You had. Um, <coughs> Uh, Chipa Mlatedi, yes. uh, you had Neil Tovey, uh, Mark Tovey had just uh, retired, st- retired. Yeah. you had um, uh, Fanny Madida, you had um, um, Shane, was Shane, Shane McGregor, yeah. yes, and then you had the uh, Albert Buellas, you had oh. that, uh, Absalom Skaratin oh. um, oh. I mean, those, those are guys who could take shots from outside the box, yeah. and if you're a goalkeeper, you'd start to shiver and shake. I love that. After the break, we'll get the thoughts as well of Debojo Maloy, who's our guest here. Brian Maloy, Spider-Man, is our guest. Any questions directed to them, uh, please send them through. Be in charge as well. 11 It is hashtag MSW. It's a Friday. It's Legends Night. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. In three, two, one. On 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM. And so we're to live. Hashtag MSW. 947. The average business owner has a lot on their mind. Manufacture, supply, creditors, strategy, and then there's the unpredictable, the future. But while we at Bright Insurance can't eliminate potential future threats, we can eliminate the fear of them. So you can focus on a bright future. To prepare your business for the future, visit brightinsure.co.za or contact your broker now. Bright Insurance. Approach risk with purpose. Bright Insurance Company Limited is a licensed insurer and authorized FSP. The massive heyday sale at House and Home is soon over, so hurry in for incredible deals. Like the Sony PS5 console plus controller for only 12499 Or save a massive 1800 on the Restonic Opulence Queen base set, just 6999 King King size also available. Paydays, only at House and Home. Ends 1 March 2023, while stocks last. T's and C's apply. There's a world for aspiring photographers at Vodacom World. Come and experience it for yourself. Take your skills to a whole new level. Get the impressive Huawei Mate 50 Pro 256 gig on a 1 gig data plan for just 849 Rand per month over 36 months and capture every moment in stunning detail with a crisp 50 megapixel camera. There's a world for you at Vodacom World, the home of digital innovation. T's and C's apply. Further together, Vodacom. SUV that turns heads, the Mazda CX-5 is hard to beat. It contains superior technology other manufacturers call extras, which Mazda include at no extra cost, like a head-up display and smart keyless entry, not to mention the 10-speaker Bose sound system. The Mazda CX-5, yours from only 515,600. Book a test drive at your nearest Mazda dealer. Mazda, made with soul. T's and C's apply. 
Titans is the Eid. Get Kids TV to witness an epic season of Big Brother Titans. Starts January 15th on Kids TV Channel 198. Rated 18 for mature audiences and proudly sponsored by Lotus Star, Flutterwave and Bamboo. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Safa President Danny Jadan is my guest tonight. That this thing of the 16 teams is problematic and it is not doing justice to then the pool of players that are available for you to then choose for Wafana Bafana. What is the solution? We must get our junior teams to qualify for the World Cup and African Cup of Nations. We delivered on that. Right. We have 10 national teams. All of them qualified for AFCON and World Cups. Only exception is Bafana Bafana. The fans look at, they look at just the one team. The rest does not exist. We need to have that information. I hope the team is listening because, as you know, look at the, the players that we have produced. There is a block because there's only a few opportunities for these young players to come through. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Friday nights, always. This is how we do it. About our beloved legends. Pull up your chair. Let's chat legendary stuff. Marawa Sports Worldwide. Good evening, Rob. It's the book here, and good evening to the legends. I just want to say Spider-Man and Deb Zangwana gave us a great uh, derby performance uh, in their own rights. Uh, but I just want to find out from Spider, with Arthur Zwane predominantly playing a 4-2-3-1 formation, would you recommend to him to go with the same formation tomorrow? And what is it that you will possibly advise him to tweak so that he can gain upper advantage over Orlando Pirates uh, for tomorrow. And as for Teboho, uh, I just want to find out from you, what is it that you think a Pirates coach can do tomorrow to possibly give uh, Pirates an upper edge over Kaiser Chiefs? Thank you so much, uh, gentlemen. All the best. Teboho here. Teboho, thank you so much indeed. 947, that's where you're at. That's where Joburgs will be hosting the biggest of them all, continentally. It is the biggest showpiece, though. So it's your derby. Be part of the conversation. 011-88-3-8-947. Spider-Man, Brian Baloy is in studio. Debo Komoloy is here in studio with us. You're also listening across KwaZulu Natal on Ivoma FM. Lem Pumalang on Rise FM. So it's in live. So, you know what? If you're in the mix, wherever you are around the world, be part of the conversation. Um, Debo was saying about the formation at Kaiser Chiefs. Have you worked it out to be exactly what he's just called it? What? For two, three, one. Yeah. Yeah. I was just imagining. Yeah. It, it kind of sounds right, though. It, it, it kind of mm. sounds right. Yeah. And uh, um, for me, I don't know. I, I'm I'm not a believer in more, more especially in modern football with uh, two holding midfielders. Right. And for me, I think you uh, you only play that. I think that's a formation for smaller clubs and and you don't uh, the intention is to defend right mo- most of the time so you're not you know playing you're not playing to play enterprising football you're not playing so for me i think he's got a lot of attack and i know people always and there's been that call that uh, i think chief needs a proper defensive midfield like a Katsande and mm. Nekomache before. I think maybe fans have been spoiled because of their mm. history with that. Before those with the Wellington Magnatis, I think the club has always had that type of uh, destroying midfield but mm. just one. And then mm. you can have uh, be able to release a whole lot of other players. But I think what I see, I think our strikers are tremendously under pressure. Yeah, Especially the two new strikers and if it was me, I would play with a false nine and put them on the bench, because that's not that's what the opposition would never would never think that you would do. They Who do you play as a they, false they, nine? They, they, they're expecting the two big strikers to be up there. Yeah. Who who, who are you playing as a false nine? Um. Because if if I go back to the game against uh, Golden Arrows, as Deboko was saying, yeah, he's hundred percent. That starting lineup was a four-two-three-one. Um, I mean, Saile was there. As the target man, yeah. you had Dupree, you had Keegan Dolly, you had Shabalala. So that is part of your your attack. And yeah. the man that scored a, an incredible goal in the in the previous derby, Yusuf Mart, then forming a partnership with Ustab, yeah. you know, so directly so, behind. So, so tell me about where and who you would put as the false nine. So I would play Dupree. Yeah. 
as a false nine and and him not being more especially around, up there in the middle mm. and dolly i think um i don't know i just believe dolly is 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 being is not being used to his potential i would play dolly more as a um the one that would pulls mm. the strings mm. uh, being a playmaker that's where i would play so give him a bit more freedom Give him a bit more freedom and be a playmaker. I agree with that. Debs are from your side. Your namesake was asking about Orlando Pirates. Um, <laughs> firstly, is, is Jose under pressure? The coach? Yeah. Not for this season, no. but for next season. Not for this season? No, not for this season. I don't want to put him under pressure. Even myself, I'm giving him a chance to rebuild and help the players to try and understand why out of so many boys are they being selected to wear the jersey to be pirates players you see i always talk of induction and a lot of people when you talk of induction they say for example jersey number eight or jersey number ten yeah. jersey number no 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 it's not about jerseys as those boys see if orlando pirates uh cross and bone skull uh, are, is it engraved in their lives in their hearts are, are they pirates people? Uh, ask them, do you know uh, when did pirates win the treble? Mm. Do you know when did pirates win the double treble? Who did they? You should know that. If you know that, then you know that you understand this team. They don't. But don't. if you don't, I mean, how many of them have actually gone and said, irrespective that Andile plays for Sundowns, mm. Opa is no more playing, mm. uh, Lucky is no more playing, Roy is no more playing. Uh, did they ever ever say can we sit down with them try to understand i mean when when i joined pirates i thought i understand pirates until the previous um management brought in zero mohali and chipa chauke in 1988 and if you remember 1988 what happened in the super bowl pop safe pop safe with yeah. Chiefs. Yeah. why because of the instilled the brains and the understanding. And if you remember Chipo Chauke sales house, he scored mm. that beautiful goal, mm. the winning goal against Chiefs extra time. Yeah. So he instilled that thing. And they asked us, you know, zero. And first thing that zero got into the pie, he said, you guys, have you ever played Chilens? <laughs> you understand? <laughs> our, our players need to be, to, they need to understand. And they didn't understand it. No. Yeah, and, 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 and they don't even understand that Dan, Dan Smalisela was was the captain of Orlando Pirates who won the Bob Save Super Bowl. You understand? Yeah. You know, but but it, that is not... Yeah. That is too far for them. Ask them just la rubi, la la, boma Champions League, boma Confed. You know, ask them. Let let them have a discussion. 1995. What, yeah, what made the team so, 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 so you know, I, I, you know, I'm African, so vulnerable. <laughs> no, prat, so, you know, so, prat, so, prat, so, prat. So, so, you know, while, while he's speaking, I'm thinking about it. And yeah. I start trying to come with analogies. So, so, so playing professional football, yeah. it's like you are on a diet. So, so when you're in a diet, um, throughout your life, you're going to keep on changing diet, different yeah, diets. Yes. Mm. And that's what a professional footballer is, because you're going to move to this club to another. But when you play for Chiefs and Pirates, it's mm. a lifestyle. Mm. Okay. So it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. Mm. So, so if you want to be successful playing for Chiefs and Pirates, right. you have to make sure that you learn all of these things that he's talking about. You, uh, it becomes your, part of your lifestyle. So you, you, because, you would have known then as you come in as Spider-Man for Kaiser Chiefs, that there would have been a Peter Palak, yeah. there would have been a Banks at Lodi, mm. who would have been there before you, who a, a there would Gary, have been a, an, a, a Gary Bailey. A Gary mm. Bailey would have come I, to Isaac Chiro. I, Isaac yeah. Chiro as well. Uh, Sean Gwe, uh, William, William would have Shaw. been there. You know, you know so you, you're going Swaziland, you're going former Manchester United, mm. you're coming back home, and all engraved in there is success and trophies yes. with those goalkeepers. So thank you for leading me to saying to you and asking you a very straightforward question. I have Peterson, I have Kune. These are two goalkeepers. It's a derby day tomorrow. Who starts? <laughs> I'll start with Peterson. You start with Peterson. Yeah. Continuity, what's, what, what, what would you say is the reason? Continuity and um, I, I, loved, I love it. Everybody knows this. Yes. And um, I'm struggling to see him showing me the it that I know, mm -hmm. that we all know, not just me. And it has to come from within, from him. Mm -hmm. 
wanting that. What's missing? And, and putting it out there. What's missing from Idu right now? Um, it's 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 very difficult, really, to to put your finger on the pulse mm. and say this. Um, but um, you know, uh, when he's been given a chance this season, um, he's done. He's he's done. He's done well. Uh, but again, maybe he's a maybe again he's um, a um, what is the word? <laughs> um, uh, maybe he's too too much success that he's had as y- in a, at a younger mm-hmm. age. Now is uh, we we are uh, he he's made us uh, you know uh, get used to this type of standard. So the expectations are expectation too high. Yeah. and the standard that he has yeah. set. Um, for you know, himself, uh, for himself. Yeah, yeah. So, so now every time going on the field, uh, this is what I always say. I'm saying, um, a kid that saw E2 playing at the World Cup, and a kid that sees E2 playing five years ago or now, sees two different E2s. Hmm. So, a kid that saw E2 playing in 2010 will tell you, "Geez, uh, this world-class goalkeeper. This is the goalkeeper that would play." walk into any club in Europe. Right. But a, a, a kid that sees E2 um, and E2 of today or mm. even five years ago sees different. Yeah, yeah. And again, like I said, maybe it's too much, a lot of success that is, mm. and, and, and the standards that he set mm. that uh, maybe he's failing to live um, under. Be, be honest with me here. And and I also don't mind asking a Chiefs-related question to Debza because you, you, you guys are both analysts of whatever the football team is so and and maybe Debza would be together with a Dr. Kumalo there comes a time when there is an over-reliance on being at the team that brought you up being at the team that you achieve so much success at that you don't see yourself as let's say an Itumden Kune coming out for Amazul or coming out for Sekukune, but you're getting the game time. Achieves, you're getting the bench time. Yeah. Right. So do you not feel or believe that somebody like that, even if it's for a season or two, you say goodbye to him yeah. and you say, fine, Amazul, they need you. Or Sekukone needs you, or whatever team. I'm just using those as, as yeah. examples. Yeah. Is that something that is possible, or you become so stuck in being this Kaiser Chiefs legend, or you become so stuck in being there that it's difficult? Pause, Debza, you take that question. Yeah, Robbie, it's, 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 it becomes difficult. I'll be honest to you, Robbie. It's, 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 it's a difficult decision to make, especially. Uh, with the way that the big teams mm. are being handled, you know, the packs that come with playing for these two big teams, uh, the, 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 there's a lot that you stand to lose. I've experienced it and I've, I, I, I've, I, I left Pirates and I went to play for Rangers. Yeah. I went to play for Cosmos. Uh, I went even the last team was uh, Vets. Yes. Uh, you, you, you don't get uh, the warmth that you normally get, you know, when you, I mean, I've spent, I spent more than 10 years at Pirates. Yeah. Now you walk out, fr- you walk out onto the field in a different shed with a different uh, 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 atmosphere around the stadium. People. Yeah. <laughs> the it, fans are not yeah, there. Yeah, a few, you know. You <laughs> Family also, and yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but I'll tell you, Robbie, that uh, it is something that, 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 that yeah, one has to really, really, Think about it very, very hard. Yeah. It is not an easy decision to make, especially if you grew up playing for the team. Right. You, you, you know, if you come from another team, you join Pirates, then you leave. Yeah. I think it's easy for you. Yeah. But if it has been, like I said to you, what from eighteen yeah, until I was, yeah. you know, I never knew anything else until I went out there. So it's it's it, it will be it it will be difficult for it to. to to say maybe now you're gonna get game time somewhere. It's mm. gonna hit. It wants you to be mentally strong, yeah. and and with 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 the, with what he has achieved with Chiefs, it is similar to to what I had achieved. 
even when you walk in the street, you know, there are those, you know, that will tell you, Boenza. Yeah. Yeah, what were you, what <laughs> what were you, you thinking? thinking? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We saw you in Orlando, now you're coming out in Chatsworth. What's going on? But the the two of them, I've watched Brian, I've watched Sister Nora, about Rebola, and Brian, our bump on a penalty. But the question is, I would say, I tabi ya kutsala, aisa fani ni tabi ya nyalo. Nyalo yes, singai kwa risa ya FNP, nama bangai kwa risa ya FNP. But then, coming to Makul, si, and Istali, si, 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 football, it looked like it has changed dramatically. Google, 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 So, hii ni lenge ndiwa, kuti ibu isi la Makul, si, lebe bawa kora, Petros, thank you so much indeed. And Blanque, just to talk about the hype being something that has disappeared. It's evaporated. Brian, as we head into the break, maybe you handle this one. Um, I mean, Saturday's clash is going to be the 72nd at the FNB Stadium. I mean, it's, it's, it's hosted these derbies since 1989. It's been the venue of choice. Uh, Kaiser Chiefs having the upper hand as well as having won the last four meetings between the two oh. teams. <laughs> the upper hand Banja. in the league. How? I'm telling you. Never. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. How do we bring that hype back? Um, <clears throat> I think, I think uh, you know, the atmosphere and football, it's not just about the players. Yeah. I think, uh, I mean, I've been to, I mean, maybe last two or three derbies to the stadium. And I sit there, I watch the supporters. And supporters are so tense. They and and all of a sudden, like ten minutes to go, then they start singing. I'm like, uh, and then I I understand how when they singing, yeah, that used to fuel me. The you know but, uh, but feeding that, off the energy. Yeah, but there is no energy, and we want to find out after the break why there is no energy and why the fans are the ones that are giving the players so much pressure as well. Reggie, please call us again. I know that you're on hold. It is hashtag. MSW, it's a Friday on the eve of a big derby. Massive, 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 massive game. Marawa Sports Worldwide, changing and re engineering sports on the continent and the world. This is Melissa. Hey. Melissa is naked. Yes, I am. Melissa, what do you never do when you're naked? Um. Drive to the inspection center, Melissa. When you're naked, you never have to drive to the inspection center. Do you know why? A bus might stop next to me. No, Melissa. You never drive to the inspection center when you're naked because when you're naked, you do car insurance online. Sign up on the app, submit a few pics, and you're covered. So I never have to drive to the inspection center? No, Melissa. Never when you're naked. Mm. Naked Financial Technologies and authorized FSP. It's that time of the year when everyone could use some extra cash. And that's exactly why Hyundai are making dreams come true right now. Buy any pre-owned or demo vehicle and you'll get up to 60,000 Rand back in cash. That's up to 60 grand in your pocket for school fees, groceries or maybe a generator. Choose your Hyundai pre-owned or demo vehicle this week only and enjoy this incredible dream deal. Visit Hyundai.co.za for details. Save on couches at Corycroft today. Enjoy up to 10,000 Rand off all genuine leather couches and up to 5,000 Rand off all fabric couches. Corycroft creates couches locally for every taste, from corner units to two to three seaters, plus so much more. Find the couch of your dreams at a great price. Visit corycroft.co.za or your nearest store today. T's and C's apply. In celebration of Alan and Margaret Hirsch's 51st wedding anniversary, Hirsch's are having a massive anniversary sale until the 20th of March. We have over 400 incredible deals on TVs and appliances. Save a massive 4,000 Rand when you purchase a Samsung 65 inch. Q LED TV for only 14 triple nine. These and other amazing anniversary deals available in store online at Hershes.coza. Hershes, we will save you money. There you are, riding in silence, both deep in thought. I bet you, the driver, think this ride should have cost more, and you, the passenger, are sure you're overpaying. Ah, never mind. Let's just stay quiet. 
Or you can both download InDrive and agree on a fair price beforehand. InDrive. People driven. The InDrive online passenger transportation aggregator is not a taxi service. Find more information at www.indrive.com. Lotto Star Scratch Card Games are the perfect way to scratch for your dreams. You could win payouts of up to 255 million rand in seconds. Win diamonds with Diamond Rush, supercars with Ferrari and Aston Martin, your dream life with Retirement Fund, or cash with Bank Balance and many more. Scratch now. Lotto Star, your world of live games. Lotto Star is licensed by the Impomalunga Economic Regulator. No under 18s. National Responsible Gambling Program. 0800 006 008. T's and C's apply. All games are fixed on betting events. <laughs> Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Soccer President Danny Jordan is my guest tonight. Mr. Jordan, do you really, 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 really love South Africa or Bafana Bafana? Do you really support Bafana Bafana? If you do, why we still have Hugo Boss as our coach? That voice note was saying, do you really love South Africa? Why is Hugo Boss the coach? How do you respond to that fan? The technical committee uh, interviewed a number of coaches. And they recommended Bruce. When Bruce was appointed, people celebrated, including some of those who are now calling. We have two more matches, and Hugo Bruce must finish the job. Uh, Qualifying for AFCON is yeah, a mandate. It's a mandate. For him. Yeah. Okay. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Friday nights. Always. This is how we do it. About our beloved legends. Pull up your chair. Let's chat legendary stuff for our sports you, Sarah, worldwide. And Coach Debza and Brian Malloy, this is Lipa Tinkomo watching from Istanbul, Turkey, where Coach Debza used to play. Uh, my question is directed to Brian Malloy. As a former goalkeeper, he has played in a lot of derby matches, knowing the pressure that comes with, with the game. Should uh, Kaiser Chiefs start with Itumel and Kone tomorrow, despite the fact that he hasn't played much uh, consistently this season, or they should stick with O'Brendon Peterson? Yeah, watching from Istanbul in Turkey. Hey, how would you greet him, Debza? You've played there before, man. How are you, the Turkish? Eh? Hey, I, I, I forgot a little bit of it, but I know it's Meraba, Nasalsin, uh, Yi, uh, Tambien. Tambien. Yeah. Meraha, he, it sounded like you were yawning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Steve can do it better. I know. Steve yeah. knows languages, yeah, man. No, I mean, Steve, no. and, 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 and that's why I respect that man. He knows languages. And even in Turkey, I always say he hosted a television show called The 91st Minute. You know. Yeah. And, and presenting it in Turkish. No, he had to learn it yeah. because yeah. of he was trying, actually, he said, boy. Uh, I'm going to learn this language so that I can help you. Because uh, tactically, we were not so uh, clued up here at home. You know, you remember there was that laser. Yeah. The laser. Yes, and the um, yeah, now, now, now the coach was doing uh, a team talk for practice. Right. So he said, uh, Moloi, Konushua. I said, Steve. Then they said, Kombela. He must explain. So Steve called one boy, Ersin, who mm-hmm. could speak English. So. The coach was saying with the with, with that laser. So I was watching that red dot going there, there, there. Mm. Then he was done. But I thought he's still talking about me. So I said to Steve, ah, oh, yeah, la, la, to free roll. <laughs> <laughs> now I went to training. <coughs> I was running all over. Robbie. I was making things happen. You know when you give me free roll. Yeah, yeah. I even went even as far as getting the ball from the goalkeeper. Now, when I, I kept on getting it and giving the, the team that he was preparing to play on Sunday a hard time. Yeah. He said, stop, 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 stop. So he explained. Steve, now Steve explains to me to say, boy, when are you supposed to do this and this and this? I said, no, boy. We won't need a little be young people. I must go like that red dog. Steve said, no, no, boy, I must learn this language so that I can explain to you properly. He said to me, when he stopped there, that's when you sub- I said, ah, Steve. Marinian is in those Sianil. And we're beating the team that was supposed to play over the weekend, two nil already. Yo! He says, but no, you're not supposed to. Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. That's the beauty of learning the language in Turkey. All right. We, we got a, somebody who's calling us from a car wash. Uh, anonymous. Good evening and welcome to the show. Hey, Nizar Wafirit Lab. Oh, Siazama Pudwam, right? 
Ah, Stadium, thank you so much indeed. Just lamenting the fact that there are no more nicknames for any of the players because. Hey, Teb Zangwane, that's what he was known as. He was Spider-Man. He's got spiders, spider webs all over. He's mm. tattooed them all over his body. Uh, that is Brian Malloy. So uh, he might have a point. Maybe the, the lack of superstardom is a problem. Um, I know that the previous WhatsApp voice note talked about Kune, yeah. but you had already told us that you would start with yeah. Peterson. So I think that one is already uh, answered. Uchaine, Osiabong Amponjan, who starts and goes for Pirates? Tomorrow, mm. uh, the young boy that has been doing very well. Nice. Uh, but Robino, I want to answer that uh, question that they asked before we went for the ad yeah, break. Yeah, sure. Robbie, uh, another thing, everybody, Chiefs, Pirates, they are asked, they are being asked about this occasion. Everybody saying, "I'm not going to play the occasion." It's nonsense. It's like it's your wedding day, when you are going to wear the same suit, Lewis or your Monday to Friday. That is the okay. I remember Black Sunday saying, Do you know uh, Muloi and Utokt? Yes. They love the the, 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 the the big stages. Even Brian. You know, Brian, he'll see a ball that he can just, you know, two steps catch. Yeah, he uh, dives. He'll, <laughs> he'll fly, Robbie. Because he, he's prepared for that occasion. Robbie, these boys need to understand. You have to go there and play this occasion. Yeah. This is a big occasion. Okay. You can't say you don't play the occasion. You play and the you game. go dye his hair. He makes a, those dreadlocks were blonde. Hey, I mean, I'm going to put that green. That Nike, you remember yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. The, the lime and, and, Nike. And, and that uh, tail, that fish tail there in the back of Aish. your pen. Uh, you and Dr. Yes. Good evening, yeah. Samara. Good evening to all the shareholders of MSW. It's Simpure X here from Tembisa. I just have one question, if directed to uh, Brian Spider Baloy. I remember, if I'm not mistaken, there's this so to WWE won and Joseph Dugu Makanya scored against him. Uh, him, I'm referring to Brian Baloy. And there was this bag that he used to carry, a small bag. Uh, he would put it on the side of the net inside the the goal post and the net so I, I i kept on asking myself that how come such a a, a player with such a, a small stature score a goal against a goalkeeper like this so i just want to find out was that intentional for dugu makanya to score that goal and thanks for uh coach Tebo homoloi for all the contributions he has made to orlando pirates i wish pirates can win tomorrow thank you yeah, there was that little bag. I, I don't know what it was. Was it a, uh, was it a toiletry bag? And Did the it, towel. And the towel. Yeah, and not only Brian, all the goalkeepers. Yeah, was it Mo- was it Moti? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, clearly, it wasn't the, a toothbrush. The, the, the bag and the towel. I think we I've answered it a long time ago. Many no, times. but the, this is this is a new no, platform. Yeah, no, this us. is a new platform uh, now. No, uh, no, exactly no. Exactly like Gary. I mean, me, it's, it's something that I saw. Um, you know, Gary Bailey and the ones before him, yeah. uh, William Shaw, um, um, even before the Peter Schmeichel. I mean, in, 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 in the UK, in the UK, that the goalkeepers used to carry a tower with them in the back. But you so guys the do the time, least. What, what do you need? But a tower the first for? time I got. <laughs> <laughs> now remember, uh, you have to, to clean your gloves sometimes. <laughs> so it depends if it's raining. So you need to clean your gloves. Ah, ah, you ah, know. Ah, ah, no, no. And, 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 and in the bag, you carry an extra pair of gloves because anything can happen. You know that 
You change the gloves. You don't need this. You one. guys spit in those gloves. I don't uh, even understand the yeah. logic behind that. And then you carry a bottle <laughs> of water. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you spitting in those gloves? Yeah, you need them to be a bit moist no, so for on. them to to be able to <laughs> to, uh, to catch the you know to have proper grip. You know? <laughs> oh man, let me take you back now. Uh, this day in history, back on the twenty fourth of February, nineteen ninety two, Lee Chapman stepped into the commentary box on the match for Leeds United's trip uh, to Everton. The only time, though, that a player has commented live on his own club's match. Incredible. Unbelievable. Thought I'd just take you back in time. I'll also tell you the good news when it comes to the ladies T20. Reggie in Dobsonville. Good evening. How are you, Mr. Marawa? We are strong. Good to have somebody calling us from Dobsonville in Soweto. I've got devs. I've got Brian Spider Baloy here in studio. Let me greet the guy. Spider, how are you? I'm good. All right, all right. Hey, Mashaban, how are you? All right, all right. I'm with you. All right, man. I apologize. I'm going to go spider. I'm going to go inside the bag. Ah, sure. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. My show is not a fan. I'm a bias. I'm not a fan. I'm 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 a fan. So, I'm a fan. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah, Mr. Marawa, I also wanted to help you with the phone number of Fate Simulator. That is number one thing. Oh, the number for who? Fate Simulator. Oh, Fate, yes, yes. Can I put you on yes, hold? I'm with me. Can yes, I? you can. Okay, okay, I'm going to put you on hold. We're going to get your, your, your number down uh, so that we can get uh, Fate Chipamladeri's number as well because, my goodness, do we need uh, to speak to him. Uh, I, I was going to share the good news. Like I said, South Africa shocking England by six runs at Newlands today uh, to set up a women's 2020 World Cup final against the defending champions Australia. Chasing 165 to win, England fell short as Ayabonga Kaka uh, took, what, four for 29? And also Shamim Ishmael claiming three wickets from 27 balls, including bowling a... Oh, I mean, it, it was like... The final mm. over. England required 13 runs to win. So, yeah, congratulations. Mzanzi, well done indeed to the ladies. Looking forward to uh, their final against Australia. So, yeah, a bit of Friday news. Good news. We love that. I know, Debza, if you were playing cricket, you'd be a wicket keeper. <laughs> Not too sure <laughs> uh, yeah. what, what kind of wickets you'd be keeping, but uh, th that's where you would be. Now, the difficulty, and, and thanks, Regiment, thanks for the call. Um, you, you, you've lined up. You are ready. You've gone through the rituals. It's a Friday today. You are Orlando Pirates. Where and what would you be doing at this time? 1855 on a Friday before a derby. Mina. Yeah. You, you had pirates now. This yeah. is the height of your career. Are you in camp as a team? Are you in Muti bots? Are you, are you, are you slashing yourselves with razors? What, what, what is, what's, what's happening? Let me give you the, the derby game that everybody talks about. Yeah. And my friend, yeah, he made me shine. You know, Brian was saving penalties that day. The derby that we went to about what, 13, 14. For oh, the penalties. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that, uh, yeah, that game. I was now more experienced than I was coming back from Colombia. I'll be honest to you, Robin, yeah, camping was 12. 12 midnight. I went to Pretoria to have fun. I'll tell you why. You went and to a Pretoria to have fun? Yeah. What is fun? I'm jive. <laughs> you went to a nightclub? <laughs> no, not nightclub. Uh, Chisanyama. That time they were not so rife, but yeah. there was a chis. You know, Pitori, Pitori is Pitori. They, they were always of their have time. something, yeah. Okay. So I did first my hairstyles and everything, then went to Pitori. Went to go and dance to, to take off the pressure. And I learned it from one of Kaiser Chiefs' best players that was winning trophies for Kaiser Chiefs that time. Yeah. Jingles Pereira. Oh, 1987, when we beat the uh, uh, pushbacks, he took us, we went to Devon, we had our supper, and then we came back to the hotel at 1 a.m. He made us walk around Devon, uh, go to uh, where you, you know, like 
those 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 places where you play games you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and he said everybody you sleep one o'clock you'll wake up at 10 big breakfast final that is how he come us the following day what did we do to push box 3-1 and i realized that i had so much pressure coming from colombia yeah. everybody expecting to see me but did you start the game after your midnight express yeah i started that game because it was the visa spectacular but, oh, I see. but i didn't play the first game i played the kaiser chiefs game were you so and i no 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 that time that time <laughs> that time alcohol was not my thing ruby i was a person of juice and young talent you know now there's these new things that you can now try out but that time there was <laughs> there was nothing that you could try out okay Think? hey robert my dupu too and the last chance there the one hello the light ah you know robert nothing special about the derby anymore just ordinary game with ordinary players no star players uh, ah it's not it's not it's nothing special now it's nothing special just but at least at least tomorrow at nine we'll watch continental derby we'll see international players like about about our uh, against about zwane but for the the first one, you know, there's a word called Ukupula Mazolo. So, Chiefs and Parrot, as of Bazo Pula Mazolo, for a proper and entertaining derby. Yeah, isn't that worrying? A lot of people saying that the derby has lost its luster. It's lost that oh. thing. I don't know. All right, guys, we got uh, all of 30 seconds left. Uh, before we say goodbye, give me a score there, Brian Baloy, because I know that you look into that crystal ball of yours, you look into those gloves, uh, that bag that's in. Uh, they're in the goalposts. What's going on? Uh, What's the score? Uh, two one to Chiefs. Two one to Chiefs. Okay. Yeah. Any particular player to score? Uh, Dolly, one of them. Okay. Uh, the other one, I'm not sure. Maybe an on goal. On goal, or maybe even Yusuf Mar. Okay, Yusuf to repeat it. Okay, mm -hmm. Debs are from your side. He says two one. I'm in Arabia. I'm giving you my lineup. Saleh on the left. Pulley on the right, Kemit striker, Lodge and Lonlo behind Kemit, Ida Mutsuari or team. Pirates will win four. Ooh. By four? Yeah. Sure. To what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, nah, it could it could be four yeah, three. Nah, it's, 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 it's five, four. Yeah, it's, 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 it's five bang, four. Yeah, four. Four. Play Yo. those play those five are taking players and have only one team or Mutsuari. South Africa, telling. you've just heard. Deboko, Molo is saying it's going to be four to Orlando Pirates. Brian Spider, thank you so much. Debza, thank you so much again. We'll meet again on Monday. Friday nights, always. This is how we do it. About our beloved legends. Pull up your chair. Let's chat legends.